Good day, everyone. I'm Sania G. Abirin, a high school faculty from Western Mindanao State University, Sambuanga City, Philippines. I'm a doctoral student from the College of Teacher Education of the same institution. Today, I'm very happy to share with you my study entitled Students' Attitude and Social Support Toward Home-Based Education Amidst the COVID-19 Pandemic. The topics covered in this study are introduction, we have the literature, methodology, results, as well as the conclusion and recommendations. Let us define first the um, two variables considered in the study. First, we have the social support, which is being measured in terms of the four dimensions, emotional, instrumental, informational, and, app and appraisal support. It's measured in two constructs, parent support and teacher support. Emotional support refers to the love and care provided by parents and teachers um, to junior high school students. Um, instrumental support re refers to the material support, um, including time. Informational support refers to the knowledge or information. And appraisal support refers to the um, praises and recognitions provided to junior high school students. As a whole, social support is a process of interaction that improves coping, competence, and esteem. Another key variable being considered in the study is the student's attitude. It is a tendency that is attributed to students that creates ideas, feelings, and behaviors about a psychological object in an orderly manner. During the COVID-19 pandemic, schools in the Philippines have been adopting home-based education as an alternative learning modality. Um, the implementation of, of HBE programs is in consonance with Article 15 of the 1987 Constitution. Despite the fact that it is seen as a viable learning option in the Philippines, however, due to the complexities and problems encountered with its implementation, that's why this research um, was conducted in order to assess students' social support during the implementation of home-based education as well as determine their attitude towards home-based education. Um, the conceptual framework considered in the study is as shown on the screen. We have demographic variables considered, which are gender, age, grade level, and socioeconomic status. And we have two variables uh, measured um, in four dimensions. We have the social support and the student's attitude. Um, this study utilized or employed a descriptive survey approach um, this was used because it can elicit information about attitudes from large samples. The study was conducted at 42 public secondary schools with a total population of 75,542. It was conducted amidst lockdown, um, re restricting individuals um, 25 years old and below to leave the resident. In order to determine the samples, a stratified random sampling was used. It was used because the population considered in the study was known and has diverse subgroups which are all needed to be included in the study. In stratification, the 42 schools were considered as strata across the four demographic variables except for age and socioeconomic status for which data were not available prior to the data collection. Um, in the sampling process, a sampling frame was created um, considering the list of students and the informed consent and students' assent being accomplished by parents and students. So the sampling frame um, constituted all eligible consenting junior high school students Sample size was computed using the Slovene's formula. Um, so from this uh, total population of 75,542, um, total population, the sample size computed is, uh, is 398. However, like what I mentioned earlier, 
samples across age and sex were only determined until data collection was carried out. And because of this, a post-stratification was carried out in order to correct sample errors due to um, underrepresentation or overrepresentation of some sampling distribution across these two demographic variables. And this post-stratification technique um, is used whenever data um, are unavailable prior to the data collection. All the names of eligible consenting junior high school students were inputted into Microsoft Excel. And then a run command was used to, um, to randomize the names. Um, the 398 samples were pulled from the sampling frame and then data collection was initiated. But before data collection was carried out, um, an ethics clearance as well as the permission to conduct the study across 42 schools were carried out. Upon approval, um, the school visit was initiated. From this, a combination of data collection was suggested among some principals um, using online and offline. So for the actual survey, there were 25 schools which par participated via offline using the printed copy of the questionnaire, while 17 schools opted to participate in the online survey. Um, this combination of data collection is backed up by a literature, as cited by Ponto, that using a combination of methods of survey administration can help ensure better sample coverage by providing all individuals an equal chance of, the, of inclusion in the sample, therefore can reduce coverage error. Data collection was carried out in this manner. So the Google link as well as the printed copies of the questionnaire were um, handed out to the curricular chair or advisor. Then from there, um, the curricular chair would contact the parents um, of the to students who would participate in the survey um, for the distribution of the printed copies. Um, students for offline could answer the um, survey questionnaires at home. And for students who would participate online, the curricular chair or, or, or advisor would directly send the Google link to the students with the guidance of parents. There were two instruments used in this study in order to answer the research questions posited in this study. For the level of attitude, um, the instrument was adopted from CARA, which has an initial reliability coefficient of 0.77. Um, social support is adopted from PAPAS 2014, and it has an initial reliability or validity coefficient um, which is 0.80. Both of these instruments were pilot tested in order to ensure its appropriateness for the, uh, for the current study. And based on the results of the Cronbach's alpha analysis, um, unacceptable acceptable values for the reliability coefficients were obtained. Therefore, no further changes were um, done in the two questionnaires. Out of 398 samples, there were only 383 students who were able to complete the survey. Um, 109 students participated offline successfully, and there were 274 students who successfully completed the survey online. All the data obtained from these 383 um, respondents were included in the data analysis and were inputted into SPSS for, for an appropriate statistical treatment. Based on the results obtained, the extent of social support received by high school students when the variable is measured in terms of um, these four dimensions, um, it's, it, it's very high in terms of emotional support and high in terms of instrumental, informational, and appraisal support. Um, this um, finding um, agrees with the uh, findings obtained by PAPAS 
for which he stated that emotional support is the most frequently and highly reported social support, received while informational support is the most reported social support received by high school students from teachers um, than parents. For research problem number two, the result obtained, um, the level of attitude of high school students toward home -based, towards home-based education um, is moderate in terms of nature of learning and anxiety of learning, while high in, ter in terms of expectations of learning and openness to learning. Um, this, uh, this finding um, appears that of SEN 2013, which stated that anxiety for learning of students in the study is at the medium or moderate level. Problem number three, test hypothesis one, is stating that there is no significant relationship between social support and students' attitude. Um, using Pearson, um, it can be seen on the result that there is a significant moderate positive relationship between the social support and students' attitude. Um, this finding appears the social cognitive theory for which the study was anchored upon, which states that learning is affected by social support. It also appears other studies by Mata, Tasjin, and Bofa and Ento. Research problem number four test hypothesis two, stating that there is no significant influence of the extent of social support on students' attitude. Um, using multilinear regression, uh, it can be seen that um, social support significantly influences students' attitude. This finding is in agreement with Lent and Rice et al. in Bofa and Ento, who stated that the perceived social support influences outcome expectations of students. Problem number five, test hypothesis three, is stating that there is no significant difference in the extent of social support uh, measured in the four dimensions when the variable is categorized according to gender, grade level, age, and socioeconomic status. Um, ANOVA was used and um, did assumptions were carried out before running ANOVA. And based on the results obtained, we can conclude that there is a significant difference in the self-reported emotional support of high school students um, in terms of socioeconomic status um, instrumental support in terms of age and informational support in terms of age and grade level. And last problem, test hypothesis number four, is stating that there is no significant difference in the level of attitude of high school students measured in the four dimensions. Okay. MANOVA was also used to um, analyze the data and the result obtained concluded that there is a significant difference in the nature of learning and anxiety of learning um, in terms of age and grade level and expectations of learning in terms of socioeconomic status. Therefore, this study concludes that the overall social support received by high school students during home-based education from teachers and parents was high. Specifically, teachers provide the most emotional informational and appraisal support, while parents provide the most in instrumental support. The overall student's attitude towards HBE is high. Social support has a significant moderate relationship with student's attitude, and social support varies significantly across grade level, age, and socioeconomic status, while student's attitude varies significantly across grade level and age. Therefore, this study recommends that the Department of Education shall, shall continue the adoption of home-based education among public schools um, in order to provide junior high school students who cannot avail of formal schooling due to work, health, or safety reasons uh, with a viable learning option to continue basic education. By doing so, a collaboration with the local government unit to streamline the delivery of HBE instruction is encouraged. Also implement a whole school approach involving teachers, parents, and other school staff to monitor and assess students' progress during HBE. 
Also, it's recommended to strengthen parent-teacher relationships through regular meetings, employing incentivized group-based programs, and provide more trainings for teachers on CPK to include effective lesson designs for diverse learners, effective delivery of HB instruction and assessment. So I think that's all for my presentation and thank you very much for listening. Um, I wish everyone a blessed day.